Okay, so guys, welcome back to our tutorial. So now we are going to create a program that read a notepad uh, value or notepad data to using C++ programming. Okay, so first we will create the data in the notepad like this. 0, 0, 001 then this is the name and then this is the for example salary zero zero two for example here Pedro here is two thousand salary zero zero three one then here for example um, 500 salary okay so now we are going to read this data okay we are going to read this data using c++ programming okay so first we need to save this one to desktop i will put here employee data okay well i can save this one desktop okay then employee data okay now we are going to read that data using c++ programming so first here we need to include okay we need to include here the if stream okay if stream is you are using a file open of that uh, of that file so that you can read that uh, data so here I will use here a uh, if stream okay if stream this is the variable pin okay we will put here the the location of the text file so the location of the text file is in my desktop we'll see where is the employee here okay this is the one we will go here right click properties we will copy this one okay so we will paste here then employee data dot txt you need to put here another slash here here okay Assume. now we need to get the so now we are already open the file okay this is the location of the text file now we need to We need to declare a variable here, for example, in ID, then name, then the salary. Okay, as you can see, there are three variables, employee ID, name, and salary. Here, as you can see in your text file, your text file had three columns employee ID, name, and the salary. So we will read this one to display in our program. Okay, to do that one, we'll go back here. Next is, we are using while loop. Okay, while, pin, this one, this is the one. Okay, then, we will read the data of employee ID. Next here is the name. Then next is the salary. As you can see, these are the three columns. To get that one, 
see out we will put here employee id we will do one space then name here another space then salary okay so next then next is that is the how to read the data okay so now we will try to run this one if it is already read the data okay so compile and run okay here there is an error which is if it's, uh, if stream is not oh no no this one is if stream okay it's cute okay so as you can see the data here in our text box a uh, text box notepad is the same from here he read from here in the text file and then display to the uh, the application okay using c plus programs very easy right so now we will try to add another column there we'll try here for example here is uh, This is the salary for example this is the uh, company name uh, for example uh, 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 take this one company name for example company name this is uh, Warak. Uh, I will use this one different I will use this for example ECN this one here is BDO this one here is BPI you save this one and then going back here and then run what will happen as you can see there is a wrong okay because for the company company or the fourth column there is no variable so you need to declare here string company as you can see, the salary is not string, so we need to declare this one as the wall. Like this here. Up. Yeah. Then here, we will try here to put the company then here company we'll put here one space we'll try to run again okay as you can see it's correct your name uh, your ID your name your salary and then your company name now I want to compute the total of all salary of all employee. The total of salary of all employee, I want to compute this one. So 1,000, 2,500 so will be 3,500. But I will put here in the downside. So we will try to declare here sum. Okay, it's equal to zero. Put here sum is equal to sum plus the salary. Then display here. See out the salary, the total sal salary, the total salary is sum. Okay run the total salary is 3500 as you can see 
your data is here in notepad okay. your data is here in your notepad if you add here 004 then uh, uh, here is uh, 1000 then here is for example 800 here is uh, p and b for example save okay then we will execute this one as you can see it's reading all the data from your notepad then get the total salary so this is very important because you are reading the data from the text file so it means you are not entering the data so the data is in like database so but now here your data is in text file so i will try to see here this one is text file so it's like a notepad okay so this is very simple now to make it clear we will put here see out we will put here for example in id here is name here is salary is company name yeah i will try to run again okay so now as you can see we will try to adjust this one or you can uh, set w for example 10 set w is like a uh, indention okay indention to from the edge from here parang parang uh, from the the left to right Okay, we will try to run again. Okay, set W. Yes. For the set W, we need to declare some, what we call this, uh, libraries. Okay. So we need to declare these libraries include okay we will try this one i i o manipulation like that this is the library so that you can use the set w okay as you can see it's like good now so we will try to adjust this one here okay so now it's almost it's okay almost uh, have a column we'll try one next line here here we go this is the final so this will be the final output so as you can see by using set w instead of uh, space you can use this one as you can see if i put 20 it will be more space see more space here so i will put here 20 on uh, 10 so that it can be fit on the header okay so this is the final output as you can see this is very important because you are using the uh, the file which is the data is there for example that one it's like reading the file so this is very important this is used in some other companies that for example in the bank in the bank is there is a what you call this one an excel file which is encrypted and then you will send to bank 
and only the bank can read that one so this is the the problem on that one to read the data from the file okay so i hope you understand this one so thank you